Welcome to Multi Arts Victoria. I'm Yan Hao, your host, and I'll be your drama sultan for this evening. This is where we were starting off, where we finished off from the last video. If you want to go check it out, we have a series of Geronimo Stilton The Missing Movie, Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. You better go check that out. It's very good. Alright, Mystery Mouse Lit Unmasked. We ran all the way to Theater 2 and arrived at the audience who was ex exiting the movie. At first, I was worried we had missed the Mystery Mouse Lit, but suddenly, Trap squeaked. There she is. You go and confront her. I will film everything for my documentary, he said. Hercules shook his neck. Let's not rush into this. Look, just call me something. Thanks to the Flappy Mouse a super ear listening device invented by a friend of mine. We can hear everything she says. Hercule turned the device on and the mouse voice crackled through its speaker. We could hear every word. Yes, everything we have according to plan. No Stilton and that cheeseburn friend of his have no idea. See you in five minutes. The mouse got off the phone and looked around. Suddenly she started walking toward the boardwalk. We quickly followed her all the way to a cafe where she sat down at a table. My whiskers were shaking from fear. Who, who was she going to meet? We crept closer and hid behind a bush. A few minutes later, a very long leopard print car with dark tinted windows arrived. A familiar mouse that got out, followed by two large mouse guards. I gasped, Madame, no! Moldy Mazzaro sticks, I squeaked. Madame, no, was a famous business mouse. She was involved in many shady dealings all over Mouse Island. We had put it snouts many times before. Madame No greeted the thief, who put her bag on the table opposite Madame No. That must be the movie, Hercule exclaimed. Quick, distract them and I will get the bag. Before I could stammer out a reply, Hercule was gone. How are we going to distract them? I whispered to Trap. Don't worry, Trap said confidently. This will be cheesy breezy. He started walking toward the table, his camera on his shoulder and a microphone in his mouth. Wait for me, I hissed and scram scrambled. After him, I couldn't let him walk into the paws of danger alone. Trap approached Madame No. Good evening, my dear mouselets. Madame No frowned at Trap. When she noticed me next to him, her expression deepened into a scowl. Still did, she growled. We meet again. We, uh, do. A marvelous to see you again, I lied. Madame No, we are shooting a documentary about the local film festival and would like to ask you a few questions. Madame No waved her paw in the air. I don't have time for this. Rock blue. Two of Madame No's mouse guards came out from the shadows, helped these orders back to the boardwalk. Both mouse guards walked toward us. Where are her kids? I tried to stall a little longer. I'll only take a minute. The documentary will be more interesting with a quote from a business expert like yourself. Madame No crossed her paws. In front of her, Stilton, you are such a pest, she hissed. But the mystery mouse lip held up her paw to the mouse guard's approach. Wait, I'm a film lover, as you know. You could ask me your question. My hunch had been right. A real film expert would not want to miss out on an opportunity to talk about movies. Trap adjusted the camera, and I shrugged to think, of course. Um, well, why don't you tell me how, what has been your favorite movie of the festival? The thief was about to reply when I saw a flash of yellow fly, but it was a whacking bush. Trap saw the look on my snout and nudged me with his elbow. It was Hercule on the cover. Hercule, the bush, was very close to the bank. Slowly, he reached out with his paw from inside the bush and one of Madame No's mouse guards lunged in front of the bush and the other one searched through it. Then he caught, he caught, he pulled Hercule out by his, gotcha, ow, 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 ow. Hercule squeaked, we were caught. Toasted tuna melt. The mysterious mouse that was shocked. I know you, you're the rodent who's a fan of detecting me. That's me, Hercule replied, still dangling from the mouse that's giant paw. By the way, have you seen Francis Romy, Romaine's movie? Quiet, everyone, Madame No shrieked. What's going on here? Why are you hiding in a bush? Trap got right to the point. You, the two of you, took Mousine Scorsese's movie. He cried. Madame No burst out laughing. What in the name of all that Mousine makes you say that? You have no proof. 
Madame Mill is right, and Mystery Mouse agreed. Now, if you don't mind, we were just going to enjoy some fresh cheddar snow cones. I have interrupted on ca I have everything on camera, Trevor said, cried, interrupting her. He played the recording on the camera of the screen for us. Mystery Mouse has stood up from her seat. Looks like the game's over, Madame Milk. In a flash, she had removed her wig, sunglasses, and blue dress, revealing a sleek black suit and a Toasted tuna smelt! It was Shadow, the most famous thief on Mouse Island! Yes, I did steal the back of Drive Mouse and Scores movie was saved. But why? I asked. Well, before Shadow could answer, I heard a fresh woman squeak from behind me. There you are, Geronimo, I said. I took forever to find you. You weren't answering your claws. Claws. Crapilla said. I'm sorry, I said, but better that. I like this story. Crapilla huffed. I think you're actually happy that Mouse and Scores movie got stolen. Because now you have the excuse not to participate in the festival with me. She didn't get just at her purse and accidentally bumped me right in the snow. Ouch! I tried to rub my snow and tripped over one of the calf chairs. The chair fell into the mouse, got a holding her to his ear, and ha his sunglasses chattered to the ground. Oh no! My sunglasses! He yelled. He released her to his ear and leaned toward them to pick them up. They're a limited edition! Cheese it, tones! He growled. He suddenly pushed Santa from the vines. This, despite the confusion, I know the shadow tried to sneak the camera away from my cousin. Trap your camera! I yelled. Trap the hilt on tight to his camera as shadow attempted to yank it out of his paws. Let's go! Yelled Trap. Never! His shadow hissed in response. You can kiss your evidence goodbye. With that, she suddenly pulled, stopped pulling on the camera. Trapper reeled forward in surprise. The camera fell out of his paws. The camera smashed into a thousand pieces. Shadow burst out black. Goodbye to your little movie, she hissed. A smoke bomb onto the camera. And the air clouds, uh, air clouds around us quickly filled with clouds of thick gray smoke. I couldn't see anything. Where was everyone? By the time the smoke cleared, Shadow had vanished. My camera trap said Sounds looking at the pieces on the smash ground. But then his face hardened to the point of me. Look, Madame No, it's getting away. Madame No had grabbed the bag containing the backup drive and started running to her car together with her mask on. Rancid forgot her. The thieves were getting away right from under her snap. Backup is back. Madame No's car screeched. Screeched away from the curb. As the smoke bomb cleared around us, I could finally see everyone's disappointment and expressions. Sorry about your snout, John Crapilla said. Is it feeling okay? I'm fine, I said. My snout might be feeling, but Miles said if that shadow had gotten away with the best of us again. I sighed. My camera trapped wild. Miles told me I had plugged it up in the draft backup drive, so I have a copy of everything I've recorded so far. Otherwise, everything would be lost. Perhaps I was looking for the backup drive among the pieces of a broken camera. Hurt the uh, trap? I have to tell you something. But you have to promise and you will not get mad? Yes, I promise. Trap said. Do you also promise that you will always be friends no matter what? Sure, okay. Hurt the grinned. And there's good news and bad. First, the good news and all the scales of the smoke bomb. I was able to retrieve Mousin Scorsese's backup drive with the stolen film from Madame No's bag. He reached into his raincoat and pulled it out. You are a genius, Trap cried, patting him on the back. But what is the bad news? Well, in order to make sure Madame No didn't notice, I had to substitute this drive with another one. So I used yours. Trap turned as white as a slice of mozzarella cheese. My movie! That was the only copy! I lost my documentary forever! I will never be able to win the golden cheese! But we solved the case, Trapella said. Just think about the inspection of on Madame Nose snout when we she retrieves the movie. I wonder why she didn't want anyone to see a film, I asked. Maybe the reason will be clearer once we watch the movie, Crapella suggested. Now we can pick the close, closing movie of the festival. The following day, the main theater was packed with films eager to see the secret movie. Finally... Mousin Scores has been completely shocked when he retrieved his missing backup toy. I never saw I'd get this, get this backup, he said. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. You're welcome, I said. I can't wait to see it. The director winked. Now you will see why Madame Noah went to 
get so much trouble to get her paws on him. My whiskers trouble. I hope there would be enough to escape from me. Just say no to Madame No, a pollution story by passing school. Ego and tracks to factories. Don't waste it on them. Their bulldozers clear out of horrors in a protected park. Their company sent pollute to the air. Talks of waste from one of their factories floods a quad. And the golden cheese goes to Massine Scorsese's film. Secret film was not a horror film, but a documentary. He finally had proof that Mad Hamill's factories were eagerly polluting Mouse Island. It has been whispered around about for years, but no one has evidence of it before now. That's why Mad Hamill has wanted to steal it. When the credits rolled, the audience extraordinarily clapped. Suddenly, a shadow, a talented spy thief, must have heard from her criminal networks what the secret film was really about. And told Madame No, they often work to get all criminals. I can't wait to discuss this film with all the other members of the jury, Crepella said. She followed the other jury mice out of the theater. It was time for them to pick the winner of the film festival. They only deluded for a few minutes sooner than everyone was expecting. They were back onto the theater. Jack Montre walked onto the stage and addressed the crowd. Ladies and gentle mice, thank you for being a part of New Mouse City's first film festival. I am very proud to announce that the winner of the Golden Cheese for Best Overall Film is Mouse in Scorsese. Just say no to Madame No. Scorsese leaped to his paws and rushed to the stage. He wiped away a tear. I'm honored to skip this award. I would like to share this award with Travis Hogan, Hercule Portrat, and Rama Stilton. They worked hard to help me show this movie at the festival. I'm going to strive to be more like them in the future. What? I looked up to see Mousing Gresham for us to join him on stage. Trap wasted no time for us to join him on stage. Wait. But Trap wasted no time in bounding out on the stage, throwing his arms around Mousy. Crapella grabbed my paw and pulled me on stage. Come on, John Mo, he, she cried. Hercule joined us on stage. If only your sister, Fia, would could see me now. Jack handed the golden cheese to me. Why didn't, don't you do the honors of handing over the truth? He suggested. I turned towards Sophie's. My whiskers trembling from happiness. I am happy to present you with the golden cheap, I began. Suddenly, photographers, camera flashes were all going off at the same time and blind me. My vision got blurry. I shook my snout to try and clear it, but that just made me dizzy. I could feel the prize that was slipping from my paw, but I couldn't seem to stop it. Geronimo, I cried. She grabbed the prize as it started to fall and handed it back to me. Got it, Geronimo. What would you do without me? She winked. Thanks, I whispered before handing it off to Mousine. When we got off the stage, a large crowd of fans formed around the director. Now, fully, no one was paying attention to me. I was glad to have helped him find Mousine Source's stolen movie. But I'd seen enough from here to know why I'm not cut out for the movie business. I couldn't wait to head back to the Rogan's Gazelle office and start an article about Madame, though. She may have gotten away this time, but she couldn't run forever. Yours truly, Geronimo Stilton. How to create a movie. Dear friends, making a movie is a very interesting process. Here is what I learned about the movie business at the New Mouse City Film. What the productive. The productor oversees a movie project. He or she helps figure out how the movie will be financed. Two, the screenplay. A screenplay is like a book. It has all the dialogue the actors speak on screen. It also s- describes the setting for each scene. 3. The cast and crew. Once the screenplay is finished, the cast and crew members who are involved in actually making the movie are hired. The cast is a group of actors who will be in the movie. In addition to the main actors, there are also extras, people who are in the background of some scenes but don't speak any lines of dialogue. The crew is all the people behind the scenes who help make the movies. This can include the director, camera operator, sound technicals, makeup artists, costume designers, product designers, and assistants. Four, the set and shooting the film. The set is the place where the scenes are filmed. 
It could be a studio, a theater, or a public place like a park. People film movies in all kinds of places. Once everything is ready, lights, camera, action. The director is in charge of the film. His or her unique personal style and formation transformation of the screenplay from written words to moving images. For every finishing movie scene you see on screen, the director might have tried many different styles. For example, a wild shot to see the the whole set, a medium shot to see the characters and their surroundings, or a close up to see the actor's iron facial expressions clear by. In addition to changing this kind of camera shot, the director can also the director can also repeat their lines in different ways. Angry, sad, happy. Fun fact. The director begins the filming of each scene with these words. Quiet on set. Lights, camera, action. Wild shot sets the scene. Medium shot, you can clearly see the actors. But the location is still important. Close up, only the actor snaps are visible in the frame. So they can, their feeling is on the main focus. Number five, editing. After the filming is finished, what happens to the hours and hours of footage that the director has shot? All the material is handed over to the editor. The editor together, the editor together, together with the director picks the best shots and assembles them in the order written in the screenplay. Editing can be a very creative part of the movie process. Sometimes the entire scenes are cut, or the movie is made longer or shorter. Six, post production. There are tasks that are untaken after the movie has been edited and include music, sound effects, visual art effects, and voiceover narration. Set disruption. Over po po post-production is over. The movie is about to be shown t to movie fans. A disruption agency sends copies of the movie to the theater that will screen it. The disruption agency takes care of the promotion as well, including submitting the movie to the film festival and organizing and planning actors interviews. Anything to make the movie is a success. Now sit back and enjoy the show. And don't miss any other books of the drama Sultan. If you want this, I'm, I'll be mm, reading every book I have for you guys. I'll be making plush videos if I can. And I'll also be doing apology videos if I want to or uh, coming soon videos and yeah I hope you like this series of drawn with Sultan the missing movie please like this video subscribe it and also enjoy thank you bye bye